YouTube this is Five here in my next review. As you can see, we have Tresons, Galaxy Force, Optimus Prime. First of all, I'll show you the box. Transformers Universe, Optimus Returns, the big Autobot, and Septicon, Electro Packs, and Turns, Level 3 Conversion, Got Chromosome, right here, the Bios and stuff, this is Prime's Bio, Trans Optimus Prime, Cybertron Series, the Planet Key there, the Bio, Force will evacuate his homeworld and lead his people into hiding on Earth, Optimus Prime. Search the universe for the Cybertronic Heath, ancient artifacts from the power to save Cybertron. His quest leads him and his companions. Compa 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 well, yeah, all the Autobots in there. To Speed Planet, one of the lost colonies founded by the natives of Cybertron millions of years ago. The Optimus Prime and his friends must emerge themselves into the local culture, racing against warriors both evil and honourable, for the position of the Cyberpunk and the fate of their home world. His strength is 10, his intelligence is 10, his speed is 9, his endurance is 10, his rank is 10, his courage is 10, his fire blast is 10, and his skill is 10. So basically he's top on everything except spear, which is nine. So yeah. Bigger. Yeah. So yeah, he's got all the plant symbols there and there. He's got the guns or he's like he has like some guns. Then go up and down and round and out, uh, yeah. Size comparison, Bumblebee and Brawl. So, yeah, Prime's a lot bigger than the average Deluxe. So this is a Voyager class figure, heavy load. I don't have any leaders or anything in alt mode at the moment, so I can't really show you. So, yeah, this is his truck mode. The only thing that's bad is his head's kind of exposed. It's got light. Sirens, he's got cannons here. He's supposed to be a fire truck, but like Scattershot says in, in episode 52 Inferno, why would a tr fire truck have massive cannons? Here, he's got the guns here, and the guns here, so yeah. Now I'm going to take him to his jet flight mode type thing. Obviously, he's had in the series. Obviously, this is going to be a two part video. I'll never fit it in. So, yeah. Flight mode. As you can see, it's pretty big. You have the wings here. They've got like gun things on the side. Oh, yeah, and you flip. You're meant to flip that down. I have to keep checking the time on the video because it's at the bottom down here my camera so yeah because I can't run over I have to redo the vid so yeah he's got gun tear gun tear gun tear yeah it's like basically the same it's a winter now bumblebee it's like that oh um, yeah and you can kind of put an autobot like bumblebee or like jazz or something on top in old mode so yeah there's bumblebee's comparison and brawl Nice heavy load. He just too big for any of them. So yeah. Um I do have the jet storm here. Just that his wings are off. So I need to get his wings and reattach them. Because online the wings fly off and they disattach sometimes. And I like to keep and I take the wings off. I put him back in the yeah to the brain. So yeah, here he is 
with Jet Storm. He's still taller than everyone you can probably find. Not every, not not Fort Max. Because Fort Max was just probably <laughs> way too big for him, Fort Max. And this guy is really big. So yeah. This guy's one of the biggest figures I have. It's like he is well, I'll show you a size comparison when I get to robot mode. So, yes. Just take it to robot mode. You take this section off. And what I like to do is I like to transform it back into this bit and have it as like a base mode. Because sometimes in the series, once in the series, in yeah, one of the episodes, he used this because he just transformed into his regular robot mode and used this to and then flip these like cam and cam and this is like a basic cabbage mode yeah basic cab like section mode so it's transform this bit you take the legs well these what would be his super robot mode and peg them onto the back so it's like that um peg them and fold it up that is the matrix I'll show you that in a minute. Let's put the camera up here. Take these and fold them up. Oh yeah, they have to like flip it in the right way. And then you fold them like that. Pull the shoulder pads up and rotate your arms. Take the pads up, rotate your arms. And flip the head up. And this is his regular robot mode he is pretty tall in this mode yeah make a close up of his face obviously he has a mouth but you can use the chest the mouth plate that's for, meant for super mode yeah obviously this is the japanese galaxy force version that's why he's not like blue if you're wondering and yeah he's got the planet symbols there giant uh speed planet and beast jungle planet he's got like blue knee pads i'll get some comparisons quickly here he is with crumple zone yeah crumple zone's like voyage class and i'm gonna get some supreme classes and some lead classes quickly here he is with animated megatron and Cyber Stomping Prime, who's like a Supreme class. Yeah, so he's obviously smaller than Cyber Stomping Prime. And he is around about the same size as Megatron. Animated Lead Megatron. He's like a smidge taller than him, I think. But this guy is like leader class in his regular mode. I need to go put these guys back on the shelf quick. His articulation, the head go all go all the way around, the arms go all the way around, in and out, bend at the elbow, bend backwards at the elbow, and turn at the elbow, and his hands can go like that. He has no waist articulation, but his legs go forward, go back, in and out, bend at the knee. Turn at the like upper part of the leg, and his foot can go like that. Not really much, much foot possibility, but yeah. This is only the first part. I'll get to super mode in the next part. Cause I've been going nearly ten minutes. So yeah, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the second part. I'm gonna do this video once I start uploading it. So yeah, thank you for watching, and please subscribe.